The Ukrainian army attacked another bridge located on the same river in the Kursk region of Russia. The commander of the Ukrainian Air Force Mykola Olshuk said about this. He said that the aviation forces attacked the bridge located on the same river in the area of Zvaini village. With this, the supply routes of the Russian army groups were closed. It should be noted that this is the second bridge destroyed by the Ukrainian army over the same river. On August 16, the bridge passing through the village of Tetkino was blown up by an attack launched by the HIMARS rocket launcher system. As a result, communication with several villages was cut off. The invaders had to cross the river only by boats. Russia has accused Ukraine of using Western rockets, likely made in the United States, to target a strategic bridge over the same river in the Kursk region, killing volunteers trying to evacuate civilians. For the first time, the Kursk region was hit by Western-made rocket launchers, probably American HIMARS, Maria Zakharova, a spokeswoman for the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, said. Russian military officers note that the only bridge left in the Glushkovo district of Kursk Oblast to supply Russian troops is the one in the village of Kuriz. The president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, who in 2022 provided his territory for the invasion of Russian troops into Ukraine and repeatedly expressed confidence in the victory of the Russian Federation, changed his rhetoric against the backdrop of the successful offensive of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, which has been ongoing for more than a week. In an interview with Russian propagandists, the Belarusian leader called for sitting down at the negotiating table and ending the fight. According to him, neither Russians nor Ukrainians nor Belarusians need it. B. Eiter quotes him as saying, at the same time he traditionally pounced on the West with accusations claiming that some Western officials allegedly want the war to continue. As usual, Lukashenko did not provide any evidence for his words, citing the fact that these are closed facts. These are high-ranking officials of American origin who are talking about this, and I'll give you a little insight, the dictator said. Against the backdrop of the Kursk operation, Lukashenko sent troops to the border with Ukraine recently to stop possible Ukrainian breakthrough. At the same time, he claims he has no hard feelings towards Ukraine. Ukrainians saw that. They constantly told us they didn't need war with Belarus. We understand this and say we will not fight with Ukrainians, Lukashenko said. According to him, Belarus and Russia are not interested in expanding the contact line. The entire border is 1,200 kilometers. Now the northeastern district of the front is 1,000. Are we ready for more? No, and the Kursk showed this, Lukashenko added. He also made threats against NATO, promising an instant response in the event of a violation of the Belarusian border. According to him, there would allegedly be no red lines in such a case. Belarus is even ready to use nuclear weapons in the event of a violation of the Union State's borders. However, the head of the Belarusian regime making this statement seemed to have forgotten about the events in the Kursk region. Ukrainian journalist Andriy Saplienko commented Lukashenko's words. He said, that is, the situation with Kursk is no longer a state border, or the Russian Federation is not a Union State. Ukrainian forces destroyed a bridge over the Syme River in the Glushkovsky district in Russia's Kursk Oblast. Photos and videos purporting to show the destroyed bridge were published by the Russian Telegram channels, which claimed the bridge had been struck multiple times. The footage was taken by Russians walking on the bridge. The strike was carried out by a HIMARS missile. According to the Russians, the bridge was hit four times before, and this is the fifth. As a result of the impact, the car on the bridge caught fire and its occupants died. About 30 settlements near the village of Glushkovo, approximately 150 kilometers from Kursk, have been cut off due to the attack. Air Force Commander Mykola Olshchuk posted later a video showing the attack on the Russian bridge. The insider reported that the Glushkovsky district has three bridges across the Syme River, with the other two located near the settlements of Zvano and Kuriz. Roman Aliokin, an advisor to Kursk Oblast's acting governor and a Russian pro-war blogger, also claimed that Ukrainian forces are targeting the bridge in Zvano, about 7 kilometers from Glushkovo, 
in an attempt to seize part of Kursk Oblast along the river. 